Hey everyone. Back with part 2 of what if Deku was motivated by Nehire? Dive back into the action as we explore their dynamic partnership and its impact on heroism. All Might, the principal told me about them, and I saw them in the practical exam monitoring room. But Mirio is one of the strongest students in the academy, making quite an impression on Izuku. Izuku, what? Nehire and Mirio? The strongest? Very impressed to learn that information. Current chapter. All Might, according to the principal, they call themselves the Big Three, composed of Mirio Tagata, Nehire Hadu, and Amajiki Tamaki, explaining to Izuku. Izuku, thoughts, Nehire. You kept your promise, smiling slightly, very proud of her. I can't fall behind, but who is Tamaki? Thinking a little confused. All Might, I think by this time, almost everyone has gone home. We'll ask him calmly tomorrow, recalling the departure of some students. Izuku, I think I'll see Nehire again soon, I'll ask her, remembering that Nehire said they would meet soon. All Might, perfect. If I see you together, I'll join your conversation, but for now, getting ready to run. I retire like a normal person, starting to run comically. Izuku, T that was fast, watching as All Might ran away. Seeing that All Might had left, Izuku decided to continue with his classes, but before reaching his class, he saw someone lying on the ground, paralyzed as if they were dead. Izuku, H hey, do you need help? W what are you doing lying down? Seeing the person lying down a little scared. Oh oh, that, I I fell, on the ground and glancing at Izuku. Izuku, do you need help? Trying to help the person. No, I'm fine, I can get up on my own, still lying on the ground. Izuku, A are you sure? A little nervous. Tamaki, yes, go to your class, still not getting up and sounding quite bored. Izuku, oh okay, I have to go to class, I'll be late, hurrying to his classroom. After that rather strange conversation, Izuku went to his class for normal lessons as usual, a very normal day before going home and sleeping for the next day. The next day. Izuku was arriving at the academy feeling a little sleepy and with some cramps in his body from using full cowling at 20% the day before. He was a bit tired but still motivated because it was his first few days of classes. However, from one moment to another, he saw a familiar person whom he couldn't help but notice. Izuku, Mirio, running to Mirio quite excitedly. Mirio, I it's Izuku, a little scared and surprised. Izuku, why didn't you tell me you were a member of the big three? You guys are the strongest in the academy. Incredible, with stars in his eyes and waving his arms excitedly. Mirio, he found out, laughing and spitting out a bit of laughter. Izuku, someone told me about that, it's pretty incredible, Mirio, I can't believe it, very excited and trying to hide his fandom. Mirio, right? Although it's challenging to maintain the position, pointing at himself quite happily. I have to talk to All Might today, when I'm done talking to him, how about we meet up to talk? It'll be fun, quite cheerful. Izuku, you too? All Might told me to talk to him, impressed to know that Mirio had also been called. Mirio, amazing. You don't go unnoticed either, huh? Giving Izuku a little slap on the back. Let's go, starting to walk with Izuku. Mirio and Izuku started heading towards the place where they would meet All Might. Many students were a little impressed to see Mirio with a first-year student. It was strange that Mirio was hanging out with someone who wasn't in his group. Putting that aside, Mirio and Izuku, who continued on their way to the appointed place, met two people. Izuku, oh, you're the one who fell outside the academy, recalling yesterday while pointing at Tamaki. Nay higher, he fell? With a finger on her cheek. Mirio, did you fall? Tamaki? Holding back laughter a bit tricky. Tamaki, D don't laugh, with a depressive aura and a little nervous. Izuku, so you're Tamaki, I've heard a lot about you, nice to meet you, smiling as he extends his hand to shake hands. Tamaki, why yes, and nice to meet you too, accepting the handshake quite nervously. Nay higher, Tamaki accepted a handshake. That's weird. Impressed and emphasizing her surprise by shouting a bit. Tamaki, H heard a lot about him, nay higher, can't ignore it unable to let go of the handshake. Nay higher, hey, hey, why do you think they haven't called? Is it important? What do you think, Izuku? Curious, leaning in closer to ask Izuku. Izuku, thoughts, what is All Might planning? A bit confused and thinking while being shaken by Nay higher. All Might, I'm here. Arriving out of nowhere and startling Izuku. The five of them proceeded to follow All Might, who had told them he would talk to them about something regarding Izuku, which surprised the latter a bit. 
He was too confused, trying to think of all the possibilities. All might, I assume you're wondering what I'm doing here? The answer is simple, I need help, with this young man beside me pointing to Izuku. He can't yet control 100% of his power, it might be a tough job for him, but still, I'd like to ask for a bit of your help bowing. Mirio, come on, come on. That's not necessary, All Might, right? A little nervous because he had the number one hero pleading for help for Izuku. Izuku was already in my plans, I planned to train with him, he's very strong, right, guys? Looking at his classmates with a slight smile. Nay higher, yes, yes. I would never refuse an offer to help Izuku grabbing Izuku's cheeks. Mirio, it'll be a pleasure to train with you, Izuku quite motivated and looking at Izuku. Tamaki, I'll help in any way I can looking away nervously. All Might, that was a quick decision. Looks like you've made some good friends, young Midoriya looking at Izuku and giving him a thumbs up. From now on, you have permission to train in the Gamma field after class, I hope it won't give you too much trouble with a big smile. Mirio, great. I didn't even have permission for that, we only went when necessary quite excited and motivated. All Might, that's all, youngsters. Thank you very much for your time opening the door to the small room. I retire like a normal person. Running out of the room. Izuku, he seemed in a hurry worried about All Might's time. Mirio, professional heroes have limited time, especially if it's a teacher at UA leaving that aside, it seems you get along very well with All Might, is he family? Showing a bit of curiosity. Nay higher, hey, hey, it's true, you never told me about that, Izuku, is he family? How long have you known him? When we were kids, you always said you wanted to be like All Might beside Izuku, quite curious about Izuku's relationship with All Might. Izuku, a All Might isn't my relative laughing quite nervously. Even though our quirks are similar. All Might talked to me for that reason trying to come up with excuses. Nay higher, amazing. Even though he's not your relative, you could talk to him, must be quite an achievement for you, Izuku. Resting her head on Izuku's shoulder. Izuku, and nay higher? Very embarrassed and blushing. Mirio, there's still time before classes start, we'll talk to you about Tamaki laughing a bit because Tamaki couldn't engage in conversation. After a long conversation discussing Tamaki's personality, which was a bit embarrassing for Tamaki, time was running out, and they had to go to their respective classes. Tamaki, T, thanks for bringing out the most embarrassing part of me a little annoyed but still showing a lot of nerves. Nay higher, come on, come on, don't be like that, it's fun laughing at Tamaki. Mirio, well, See you after class, Izuku, hope you're ready by then leaving the place with his classmates. Izuku, good luck, see you waving goodbye as he went to his class. A few hours later. Izuku's classes went on as usual, just like the first day. After classes, they had lunch, then continued with their classes, which seemed special due to some rumors in the class. All Might, I'm entering. The door like a normal person. Entering class 1A in an exotic manner. Kaminari, it's All Might showing awe and a bit of phantom upon seeing him. Kirishima, amazing, he really is a teacher. Impressed and motivated. Suyu, that suit is from the Silver Age, right? Impressed, watching as All Might walks in a comical way. Ojiro, his style is so different, I can't handle it impressed by the way All Might enters. All Might, I will be giving the basic hero training. So it will be different from learning the basics of being one. You must give your best. Let's get straight to the point posing and flexing his muscles. This is what you'll do today, combat training. Showing a card that outlines what they'll be doing. Bakugo, training. Showing much excitement. Izuku, combat. Equally excited and impressed. All Might, and for that, these are here. Suits made based on the record of your quirks and requests sent before school started pointing to some cases coming out of the walls. After changing, head to the testing area. Impressing everyone present. Everyone, yes excited and motivated. Testing area. All Might was waiting for his students to come out. After a few minutes, everyone could see all the students coming out with incredible suits, each one modified for their respective quirks. All Might, they say clothes make the man, young men and women. Realize. That from now on. You are heroes. Watching as the students enter the scene. That's great, guys, you look great. Now, let's begin, shall we? With a big smile. After that great speech, All Might realized that Izuku hadn't entered the scene yet, so he decided to wait for him to explain the test. When Izuku entered the scene, many were impressed to see the advanced suit he was wearing. Uraka, incredible. Is that a suit that enhances your quirk? 
asking a bit curiously. Izuku, why you could say that a little nervous as several of his classmates were looking at him. Kirishima, awesome. Did you name your suit? A bit curious. Izuku, why yes. It's my beta suit clutching his wrist to form a fist, quite motivated. Ida, it's to be expected from Midoriya-kun. Making strange gestures with his hands. Izuku, L. Litakun? S. So it was you a bit impressed by Ida's suit. Aoyama, the name of your suit is quite normal compared to mine, Midoriya-kun posing as he glitters. Some of those present started laughing after seeing Aoyama's attitude but were immediately interrupted by All Might, who began to explain how the test would be conducted. When the explanation ended, the teams were randomly chosen, leaving one team as villains and the others as heroes. After the draw, the first team to fight would be Izuku and Uraka against Bakugo and Ida. At the testing area. Uraka, it's a lot of work memorizing the building plans. But All Might is just like on TV, unlike Aizawa Sensei, there won't be any punishment, so we can looking at Izuku to plan something. You're not relaxed at all. Worried about Izuku. Izuku, well, it's because. We're up against Kachan. And also with Ida-kun, so I feel like I need to be on guard a little scared. Uraka, I see. Bakugo is the one who bullies you, right? Showing a bit of concern. Izuku, he's amazing. He has a goal and impressive strength but. Extending the palm of his hand as he explains to Uraka. This time, I won't lose forming a fist, quite motivated. Uraka, a destined battle between men a little calmer and laughing a bit. Izuku, oh, sorry, that has nothing to do with Uraka-san nervous and trying to hide his fear. Uraka, of course it does, we're a team. Let's give it our all. Cheerful, raising her arm to motivate Izuku. All Might, communicator, now, let's begin the internal showdown between Team A and Team D. Excitedly, initiating the test. In the surveillance room. All Might, thoughts, young Midoriya. Here, you're nothing more than a simple student. I will judge you strictly, without favoritism showing seriousness regarding the test. Testing area. Uraka, successful infiltration. Whispering and entering the building. Izuku, there are many blind spots, so let's be careful looking around. Uraka and Izuku were investigating the area quite carefully. Everything was quiet until suddenly, there was an explosion that sounded quite close, followed by Bakugo appearing in front of them and providing an explosion that Izuku dodged along with Uraka. Izuku, Uraka-san. Are you okay? Getting ready for combat. Uraka, yes, thanks. Midoriya-kun? Scared because the explosion hit Izuku. Izuku, it's just a scratch. I've had to endure this pain every day because of him. Getting up with determination. Bakugo, come on, Deku, don't dodge it annoyed, creating intimidating explosions. Izuku, I knew you'd come for me, Kachan quite motivated and in a fighting stance, surprising Bakugo. Bakugo, so you won't run away, huh? Showing annoyance towards Izuku and creating more explosions. Surveillance area. Mineta, a surprise attack? Scared, watching the fight. Kirishima, Bakugo, that's cheating. A surprise attack isn't manly. Bumping fists. All Might, a surprise attack is also strategy. They're in the midst of a real battle watching the battle quite seriously. Mina, but Midori-kun dodged it. Excited. Kaminari, there goes Bakugo. Nervous and a bit surprised. Testing area. Bakugo, I won't do enough damage to stop the battle, but I'll come close. Running toward Izuku. Izuku, thoughts, with 10%, it'll be enough as lightning begins to emanate from his body. Bakugo, die. Trying to hit him with an explosion. Izuku, smash. Dodging the explosion and counterattacking Bakugo's stomach, sending him flying into a wall. Uraka, a amazing, he's on another level. W wait, his arm. Impressed by his attack. It's not like that time remembering how injured he was in the exam. Izuku, you know. A long time ago, someone changed the meaning of my nickname, someone who motivated me to follow my path as a hero, and since that day my nickname means you can do it. Emitting many green rays from his body, showing great determination that impresses Bakugo. Izuku, you know. A long time ago, someone changed the meaning of my nickname, someone who motivated me to follow my path as a hero, and since that day my nickname means you can do it, emitting many green rays from his body and showing great determination, impressing Bakugo. Current chapter. Bakugo was barely standing when he fully regained consciousness. He separated himself from the wall he was buried in, quite annoyed. Despite being upset, 
he had no intention of giving up. Bakugo, damn it, Deku, quickly propelling himself with his explosions. Izuku, Uraka, go, blocking a kick from Bakugo with his arms. Uraka, why yes, starting to run. Bakugo, you think you're so strong, Deku? Angrily trying to break Izuku's block by increasing the strength in his leg. Izuku, thoughts, I won't let you keep trampling on me, Kachan, using a bit of one for all to separate from Bakugo. Bakugo, huh? What's wrong, Deku? Why are you pushing me away? Do you want to die? Showing annoyance to Izuku for seeing his new strength. Izuku, stop shouting, idiot. You've always confronted me, saying I couldn't be a hero because I didn't have a quirk, hitting and humiliating me until I couldn't take it anymore, showing his frustration from childhood. Why you were supposed to be my friend, almost crying and activating full cowl at 10%. Bakugo, w what? Showing a surprised face. Izuku, I won't let you keep trampling on me. Bakugo Katsuki. This time, as rays began to emanate from his body. It'll be different, shouting at the top of his lungs with full cowl activated at 10%. Bakugo was thinking about what Izuku said as he received blows from the latter. Each blow was a reality check for him. They didn't hurt at all, what hurt the most was that he had found his own weakness. Bakugo, thoughts, d damn it, remembering his past with Izuku. Izuku, I won't let you keep doing whatever you want of me, quickly approaching Bakugo. In the observation room. Sato, that kid is amazing, surprised and watching Bakugo get beaten up. Kirishima, but Bakugo isn't fighting back, seeing Bakugo barely standing. There goes Midoriya, watching as Izuku appeared in front of Bakugo. Testing area. Izuku, smash, hitting Bakugo, causing him to be propelled towards the wall again. Bakugo, thoughts, what the hell am I thinking? I have to fight back, regaining composure and preparing explosions. Izuku, thoughts, he's preparing an attack. It's dangerous, moving away with concern. Bakugo, it's not time to talk, Deku, it's time to fight. Thanks to you, I just discovered something despicable. You're very annoying, showing annoyance while preparing his attack. These gloves are used to generate explosions without limitation. Get ready to die, triggering his glove. Izuku, damn it, trying to dodge the attack by moving to the side. A gigantic explosion erupted from the bomb-shaped gloves Bakugo had on his wrists. An explosion that covered the entire hallway, making the attack almost unavoidable. Everyone watching the fight was shocked by such an attack and was awaiting the student's response. When the smoke from the explosion cleared, it could be seen that Izuku couldn't completely dodge the attack, and as a result, one of his arms was severely injured. Izuku, I it hurts, holding his right arm. Bakugo, I've won, Deku. Approaching Izuku slowly with a tone that didn't celebrate his supposed victory. Izuku, is that what you think? Preparing to strike with his left arm. Bakugo, what the hell? Impressed and watching as Izuku prepared to strike. Izuku, thoughts, this attack won't have the same power as with the right, but it'll end this battle, preparing a painful blow. Izuku, thoughts, one for all. 30%, quickly closing in on Bakugo. Smash, delivering a blow that hit Bakugo's shoulder. The blow Izuku dealt Bakugo was quite strong, to the point that it resonated throughout the building. When the blow hit the student, Bakugo, almost immediately crashed into the wall, barely conscious. Bakugo, thoughts, d damn it. d Deku, seeing a standing but very exhausted Deku. Did I I lose? I I can't move, that idiot destroyed my arm, feeling his arm numb and almost broken. Izuku, it's not completely broken, feeling a great numbness in his arm. Bakugo, d damn it. Why you're so annoying, barely getting up but standing with trembling legs. Izuku, thoughts, it can't be, very impressed to see Bakugo standing. Bakugo, this fight. I. I'm just getting started, Deku, shouting angrily but still stopping halfway. I I I hate this. I really hate it, damn nerd butt. Deku. Why you? W win, speaking barely before collapsing unconscious on the floor. Izuku, K Kachan, seeing his friend's unconscious body. Th the test still goes on, feeling a lot of pain in his arms. After that fight, Izuku felt utterly exhausted from the damage he endured, but still, he felt he couldn't rest because the test wasn't over. Before doing anything, Izuku went to check on Bakugo, who was only unconscious. After seeing that, he felt a slight relief that encouraged him to continue his fight. 
Izuku, I I have to finish this before the pain leaves me unconscious, holding his arm burned by Bakugo and activating full cowl at 10%. With Uraka. Lita, surrender, hero, acting as a villain. Uraka, thoughts, I I have to think of a plan. Those explosions that echoed through the building, were they Bakugos? Were they Dekus? Worried and trying to come up with a plan. Mansion Global. Karl Lagerfeld's home on the Seine in Paris to sell at auction this month. Sponsored by Mansion Global. Read more. Uraka, on her part, who was cornered, was searching for options to capture the villain's bomb. Not finding a plan, she started to get nervous. Still, she didn't want to give up and tried to keep thinking of something until a gust of wind pushed her, causing her to fall seated on the ground. Lita, what? Feeling a blow hit his mask, causing it to break. He that was. Midoriya? Lying on the ground from the blow he received. Izuku, Uraka, go, shouting in the air after delivering the blow and immediately falling to the ground due to the pain in his arms. Uraka, yes, getting up immediately. Lita, darn it, the shock kept me from acting, getting up immediately to try to activate his quirk. D damn it. I won't make it. Midoriya's blow sent me too far, about to run towards the bomb and seeing Uraka about to touch it. Uraka, captured, embracing the bomb and finishing the test. Lita, no. The bomb, shouting in frustration. Izuku, thoughts, finally. The test is over, still holding his burned arm and barely conscious. Lita, Midoriya? What happened to you? Setting aside his loss to immediately check on Izuku. Uraka, Midoriya-kun? Are you okay? Quite worried to see Izuku with the burned arm. Izuku, s sorry, Uraka, I had a little setback down there, trying to sit with the help of his friends. You know, I had a pretty tough fight, closing his eyes and smiling despite the wounds and pain he felt. Izuku was bleeding a bit from his head, one of his arms was burned because of Bakugo, leaving that arm immobile for now, his other arm was completely numb, but he still found himself smiling for having pushed his limits once again. Lita, M. Midoriya, impressed and touched to see Izuku smiling. Uraka, H. He's unconscious, equally impressed as Lita to see Izuku smiling despite being unconscious. In the observation room. All Might, thoughts, H. He. He's smiling, very proud of Izuku but worried about Bakugo's condition. Kirishima, M. Midoriya is amazing, watching the scene of Lita and Uraka holding Izuku. All Might, the heroes. Win, shouting loudly and announcing the test's end. After the impressive battle that took place, everyone was motivated while Bakugo and Izuku were taken to the infirmary. When they arrived at the infirmary, despite being healed, they didn't wake up immediately, and the fights continued normally until the end of class. In the afternoon, Izuku was waking up, feeling much better than during the test, but remembering the fight he had with Bakugo, he woke up immediately and a bit agitated by what could have happened to his friend. Upon being conscious, he sat on the bed to see Bakugo leaving the infirmary with some patches on his face. Izuku, Kachan, immediately catching Bakugo's attention. Bakugo, what's up, Deku? Stopping and with a tone of voice about to break. Izuku, I I. I'm sorry for saying all that in the battle, showing remorse as he wanted to have a better friendship with Bakugo. Bakugo, damn it, even though you beat me up like that, you're still as irritating, Deku, turning his head slightly to see Izuku. You're right, Izuku, showing a face that demonstrated sincerity. Izuku, huh? W wait, trying to interrupt Bakugo. Bakugo, I've been a trash person to you. I didn't tell you during the fight, but what you said made me see my own weaknesses, stopping to look at the palm of his hand. I never wanted to accept it or discover it with you, but I'm weak, clenching his fist with a bit of frustration. Izuku, D don't say such things, still trying to stop Bakugo but being interrupted by the latter. Bakugo, shut up, damn it, even though I'm trying to apologize. That's what I hate most about you, opening the door to leave the place. That you're always one step ahead of me, with or without a quirk, leaving the place quite remorseful but with an annoyed tone. Izuku, he was completely serious, impressed but a little depressed by Bakugo's attitude. Mirio, hey, Izuku. Heard you had a brutal fight, opening the door unexpectedly. Izuku, Mirio? Don't scare me like that, jumping in fright. Mirio, s sorry, got carried away with the rumors, putting his hand on his head a bit embarrassed. You won't be able to train today, will you? Sitting on the bed, looking a bit pensive. 
Izuku, uh, I think I'll manage, I hope so, looking at the cast on his arm with burns. Mirio, alright, I'll be waiting outside, Izuku. Recovery girl is coming to check on you, giving a thumbs up before leaving the room. Izuku, I can't believe it, I was unconscious all afternoon, nervously looking at the clock. A few minutes later. Recovery girl, the burns were quite severe, the explosion you endured nearly left you with scars. If you hadn't arrived in time, recalling Izuku's condition upon arrival. Putting that aside, your other arm was neither good nor bad, but make sure not to overdo it. It was injured too, scolding Izuku a bit. Izuku, I'm really grateful for healing my wounds, bowing before looking at his arms. Recovery girl, it's nothing, but make sure not to hurt your arm with your own quirk again. As I said, your arm was on the verge of breaking, tapping Izuku with her cane, a bit annoyed. Izuku, oh okay. I'll go now, and sorry for the trouble, leaving the place feeling a bit embarrassed. As Izuku left the infirmary, he informed Mirio that he felt fine and could go to training. Because of that, Mirio told him they would be waiting for him in the gym. After that brief conversation, Izuku was heading to his respective class. Upon arrival, he saw all his classmates talking about their respective fights and how they could improve their quirks. They were very motivated to have that class. Kirishima, oh, it's Midoriya, approaching Izuku. Dude, you were awesome, showing his impression towards Izuku. Mina, I didn't think you could dodge so well, excitedly approaching Izuku. Aoyama, you're goo, being interrupted by someone. Mineta, you're gonna have a great harem with that strength. So jealous, bleeding from envy. Izuku, th, thanks, feeling a bit embarrassed by the compliments. Uraka, Deku. How's your arm? Is it not burned anymore? Worriedly approaching Izuku. Izuku, I it was just scratches, by the way, w what did you call me? Thinking he misheard. Uraka, in the fight against Bakugo, you said you had a nickname that meant you can do it. Is there a problem if I call you that? A little worried and embarrassed. Izuku, and no. On the contrary, it's a nickname that brings back some good memories thanks to a certain person, laughing a bit embarrassed. Mina, can you tell us who gave you that nickname? Showing a bit of curiosity. Izuku, Kachan started calling me Deku since we were kids, for him and his group of friends, it meant useless, reminiscing a bit sadly about that part of his past. But, someone very important and special changed its meaning, remembering everything Nehire did for him. Nehire, so, I'm important to you. Izuku, grabbing Izuku's cheeks by surprise. Izuku, and Nehire? Aren't we supposed to be waiting for me in the gym? Very embarrassed and stuttering with everything he said. Mina, thoughts, his girlfriend? Blushing seeing Izuku and Nehire together. Mirio, we waited for 15 minutes, but it seems you were talking with your classmates. I thought you had fainted somewhere, laughing a bit. Kirishima, who are they? Showing curiosity seeing older students. Mineta, I'm looking at Nehire with a perverted gaze. Nehire, seriously, haven't you told them about us, Izuku? Stopping grabbing his cheeks to push him a bit. Mirio, my name is Mirio, the one who's barely noticeable is Tamaki, nice to meet Izuku's friends quite cheerful seeing Izuku's classmates. Tamaki, that's cruel. Nervously with his back turned and a gloomy aura. Nehire, I'm Nehire, Izuku's best friend, nice to meet you all. I'm really excited to see what your quirks are. Very cheerful and excited to meet Izuku's friends. Mina, best friend? Showing surprise and a bit of disappointment realizing she's not Izuku's girlfriend. Izuku, why yes, she's the one who changed my nickname, she's my best friend and has helped me a lot in my life, I appreciate her greatly smiling slightly while looking at Nehire. Nehire, you're so sweet with a dazed look and a bit flushed. Uraka, thoughts, so she's his motivation thoughtful while looking at Nehire. Mina, thoughts, this is love. Seeing how Nehire and Izuku looked at each other dazedly. Lita, Midoriya has important things to do, we should let him go with robotic gestures. Kirishima, Lita's right, this is your backpack, isn't it? Holding a yellow backpack. Izuku, thank you very much, Kirishima, see you tomorrow, guys reluctantly leaving as Nehire dragged him away by the arm. Kirishima, they seemed pretty close watching as Izuku was dragged by Nehire. Mina, it must be love. Very excited and a bit flushed. Kaminari, that guy. Just starting school and he already has a beautiful woman. Very jealous along with Mineta. 
Lita, love? Are relationships even allowed in the academy? Making robotic gestures. Mina, you're too serious, Lita Kun muttering a bit bored. Kaminari slash Kirishima, too much, it's excessive laughing a bit. Meanwhile, with Mirio, Tamaki, Nehire, and Izuku. Nehire, how was your fight? Did you get hurt a lot? Didn't you break your arm like in the exam? Aren't you tired? Hey, hey too curious asking Izuku while walking backwards. Izuku, th those are a lot of questions laughing a bit flushed seeing Nehire walking backwards. Nehire, there's never enough. Right? Getting a bit closer to Izuku excitedly. Mirio, alright, calm down, Nehire stopping in front of a gym that was a bit far from the academy. We're here without hesitation and opening the door. Izuku, finally. A bit tired from Nehire's questions. Nehire, we'll continue talking after this pouting a bit seeing how tired Izuku felt because of her questions. Izuku, yeah, yeah laughing a bit embarrassed that Nehire found out. All Might, I've been waiting for you, youngsters at the top of a rock in his muscular form. All Might, I was waiting for you, young ones, standing on top of a rock in his muscular form, current chapter. All Might, after appearing, landed in front of the five students to have a small conversation about Izuku, where he kindly asked to give combat experience to his pupil since he didn't have it fully developed. Mirio, I see, what All Might says is true, you can be very strong but a hero without combat experience can be easily defeated, quite thoughtful. Nay higher, I guess we should still give him a routine to master his power, right? Thinking the same as Mirio. Izuku, before entering the academy, I used to have a routine that I set for myself, although it's quite simple, it might help, taking out his notes from his backpack. All Might, that's right, I remember the fatigue you had from doubling your training, watching as Izuku searched in his backpack. Izuku, here you go, All Might, handing him a notebook of notes. All Might, let's see, starting to read. Nay higher, so you never stop training, right? That's why you have so many muscles, touching Izuku's arm. All Might, thoughts, what is this? He does all kinds of exercises and has absolutely everything noted, his weaknesses and strengths. Young Midoriya analyzes everything about himself, flipping through pages to see his routines. 50 push-ups, run 10 kilometers. 100 sit-ups? Every day? Seeing a big letter that said every day. Mirio, is everything okay, All Might? Seeing All Might impressed and sweating a little. All Might, why yes, young man, it's just that I'm surprised, your routine is quite good, young Midoriya, coughing a bit to disguise his impression. You can do that routine after your training, giving him a thumbs up. Mirio, that's great. But fulfilling that routine will be after a match against us, what do you think, Izuku? Very cheerful. Izuku, why yes, I really appreciate it, a bit nervous. Mirio, alright, let's not waste time, quite excited and starting to stretch. You'll fight against me and Tamaki, relaxing his hands. Tamaki, why me? A little nervous. Mirio, I don't think Izuku wants to attack his best friend, right? Quite cheerful and already ready for the fight. Plus, we need someone capable of analyzing the whole fight, Nehire doesn't miss anything at all, laughing a bit. Tamaki, a alright. I won't hold back, summoning tentacles of an octopus from his fingers. Izuku, thoughts, one for all, full cowl 20%, while green rays emanate from his body. I can barely move with this percentage but I must master it, feeling some pain in his body. Mirio, are you ready? Getting into a fighting stance. Izuku, yes, smiling with determination and excitement. All Might along with Nehire were a bit away to watch the fight of these three, Mirio who was approaching didn't intend to hold back, let alone Tamaki, that's why Izuku was excited and tried to analyze as much as possible before Mirio got closer than necessary. Izuku, thoughts, Mirio's quirk was permeability, Tamaki's quirk is a problem, I don't know it too well, he looks strong but, trying to hit Mirio's face. Mirio, so you're aiming for the face, huh? I won't hold back either, sinking into the ground as his clothes come off. Izuku, thoughts, he'll appear behind, he has two, trying to turn around. Izuku seeing from behind realized and remembered that Mirio wasn't his only opponent, there was also Tamaki who was also trying to attack Izuku, which worried him a bit because his plan didn't take Tamaki into account, thanks to that, Izuku got a bit excited and didn't know exactly what to do. Izuku, thoughts, damn. I have to jump to the ceiling and push myself down, seeing a face peeking through the ground. Tamaki, you're finished, about to attack Izuku with his tentacles. Izuku, not yet, 
jumping to the ceiling and touching it with his feet. I have to counterattack, preparing a blow and striking the ground. Mirio, quite ingenious, but, behind Izuku. I was faster, impressing Izuku, who thought he had hit Mirio. Izuku, I have two, trying to dodge Mirio's attack. Mirio, smash, repeatedly hitting Izuku and putting on his pants. Izuku, I couldn't do anything, trying to stand but immediately collapsing to the ground. Nay higher, Mirio. You went too far, you knocked him unconscious, running to Izuku to check on him. Mirio, I I think those consecutive hits weren't necessary, I got carried away, laughing a bit with his hand on his head. All might, he'll be fine, I don't think it affected him too much, coughing. Shit, muttering to himself. Nay higher, hey, 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 giving Izuku's cheek small pats repeatedly. All might, for now, I have to leave, young ones, approaching the three. Thank you very much for accepting young Midoriya, showing a big satisfied smile. Mirio, don't worry, All Might, I already told him I had planned to train with Izuku, giving a thumbs up. All Might, likewise, I appreciate it, as a teacher, coughing a bit and starting to say goodbye. I'll leave like a normal person, quite hurriedly, leaving the place. Mirio, I I guess he won't have any more training today, sorry, a bit embarrassed. Tamaki, one hit would have been enough, Mirio bored and a bit calmer now. Nay higher, but he has incredible skills, right? Leaving Izuku aside to approach Mirio, waving her arms. Mirio, yes, besides power, he has an incredible way of analyzing things, laughing a bit as he remembered how Izuku predicted he would appear behind him. Tamaki, he's going to surpass us, remembering how Izuku acted quickly by jumping to the ceiling. 30 minutes later. Tamaki, I brought the water you asked for, Mirio, with a bucket of water. Mirio, thanks, I suppose this will do, grabbing the bucket with a smile on his face and throwing water at Izuku. Izuku, die oh oh oh, oh getting up agitated. Mirio slash nay higher, Dio? Confused and puzzled. Izuku, nn nothing, quite embarrassed and flushed. Mirio, you have heavy sleep, huh? You did very well for our first match, Izuku, smiling cheerfully and trying to cheer up Izuku. Izuku, I I was defeated too quickly, I have to train even more, looking at the palm of his hand and then forming a fist. Nay higher, we'll come to get you tomorrow, right Tamaki? Giving Tamaki a pat on the back. Tamaki, why me? Whenever I want to do something, bored and being interrupted by Izuku. Izuku, thank you so much. I count on your support, quite motivated. Tamaki, I figured as much, getting nervous with a little embarrassment seeing how his sentence was interrupted. Izuku started to pack his things to leave the place along with Nay higher, Tamaki, and Mirio, feeling a bit sore from the hits but for now, it was something he could endure. When everyone was ready, they decided to leave and parted ways on the road so each could go home to rest. Izuku, I I couldn't complete my daily routine, entering his room quite sore. I guess I'll try to do it now, about to do a push-up but falling asleep on the floor. The next day. Izuku, my whole body hurts. What time is it? Looking at the clock as he got up from the floor. Izuku, it's very late. Too late, getting up to go shower immediately. A few minutes later. Inko, aren't you going to have breakfast? Worried, seeing Izuku leaving the room barely dressed. Izuku, I don't have time for that, see you, mom, activating full cowl and breaking the rules to arrive on time. In class A Izawa, I'm sorry to say it late, but today you, being interrupted by someone. Izuku, Fi am sorry for being late, Izawa sensei, very agitated with his tie disheveled. Izawa, take a seat before I regret it, activating his quirk quite angrily. Izuku, why yes, immediately sitting with messy hair and still with his tie disheveled. Izawa, anyway, today you will choose the class president, quite bored. Everyone, an activity from a normal school, excited. The whole class started offering themselves as candidates for class president, a position that excited anyone even though the class didn't know each other much yet. Everyone was giving proposals of what they would do if they were presidents, and after a long voting session, the president was decided. Baku go, why, Deku? Who voted for him? He was late, annoyed and impressed. Saro, well, it's better than voting for you, teasing Baku go. Baku go, what did you say? Annoyed and trying to intimidate Saro. Izuku, thoughts, I'm glad to see Kachan is still the same after all, smiling slightly as he sees Baku go. Wait. Me? Class president? Very impressed and shocked, not knowing what to do. Uraka, thoughts, it would be bad if Bakugo found out, 
whistling. Ida, Z0 votes, showing disappointment and frustration. Momo, did you vote for someone else? Surprised. Sato, but you also wanted to be the president, what's your plan, Ida? Thoughtful and looking at Ida frustrated. Aizawa, so, the class president is Midoriya and the vice president will be Yaorozu, presenting the positions of each quite bored. Izuku, are really? Nervous, looking at everyone even more nervous. Momo, how frustrating, looking at Izuku with frustration. Suyu, I don't mind, cheerful and accepting Izuku. Kirishima, after all, Midoriya was very fired up during training. And Yaoyorozu was great when we were discussing the battle results, remembering the students' fights. At lunch. Uraka, there are so many people today too, surprised while eating. Ida, it's because everyone in the hero course, support course, and management course eat in the same place, explaining calmly. Izuku, even though I was elected class president, I don't think I'm qualified for it, looking at his food with a quite worried look. Uraka, you are, eating convinced that Izuku was qualified for the position. Ida, you'll be fine, your courage and judgment in critical moments will make them follow you. That's why I voted for you, eating while saying everything seriously. Izuku, was it you? Surprised to see that Ida was one of the votes. Uraka, but you also wanted to be class president, you wear glasses and all, pointing at Ida's glasses. Izuku, thoughts, Uraka speaks without thinking, laughing a bit. Ida, I want to be and being suitable for it is different. I merely did what I judged was right, with a quite serious attitude. Izuku slash Uraka, merely? Confused by Ida's language. Izuku, you don't usually use that word, Ida, quite curious to hear that from Ida. Ida, oh, that's, a little nervous. Uraka, I've been thinking. Are you a rich kid, Ida-kun? Showing curiosity and surprise. Ida, rich. I've been trying to change my way of speaking because I don't want to be called that. Yes, my family has been heroes for generations. Don't you know the hero Turbo, and Genium? Explaining proudly. Izuku, of course. He's a popular hero who has 65 partners working in his agency in Tokyo. Could it be, excited and bringing out his hero fanatic side? Ida, he's my older brother, adjusting his glasses. Izuku, that's amazing, impressed. Ida, he's a hero who honors the rules and leads people, I set the goal of being a hero like him. However, it's too early to lead others, sitting back down to continue eating. Unlike me, Midoriya kun discovered the hidden goal of the entrance exam, so he's more suitable for the job, explaining while making robotic gestures. Uraka, this is the first time I've seen you smile, Ida kun highlighting Ida's smile. Ida, huh? Really? I'm smiling, getting a little nervous about the matter. Izuku, thoughts, ingenium is to Ida what all might is to me. But, I must tell him, trying to be honest with Ida. Izuku, about the entrance exam, being interrupted by an alarm. An alarm began to sound throughout the academy, alerting all students. Everyone knew that this alarm meant something had happened, causing all the students to frantically try to leave the academy without any order. Ida, on his part, who looked trapped, saw that nothing serious had actually happened, only reporters had entered the academy. Thanks to that, Ida was able to act and think of a plan, which Uraka contributed to. Ida, everyone, everything is fine. They're just reporters. There's nothing to panic about. Everything is fine. This is UA you should act as the best of the best, standing on a pipe and trying to calm everyone down. Outside UA present Mike, goodbye, evil media, quite cheerful as the police took away the reporters. In class 1A. Izuku, I think Tenya Ida should be the class president, stopping being nervous and trying to propose Ida as president. He was able to get the attention of the whole crowd in a cool way. I think the best for this job is Litakun, smiling as he remembers the work Ida did. Kirishima, I agree, Midoriya said it, today Ida was a great help in the cafeteria, remembering the cafeteria incident quite motivated. Aizawa, you're wasting time, I don't care what you do, just do it quickly, bored. Ida, if the class president nominates me, I have no choice. From today on, Tenya Ida, I will do my best with the duties of the class president, excited and ready to give it his all. Kirishima, we're counting on you, emergency exit, thumbs up. Kaminari, emergency exit, Ida. Do your best, encouraging Ida. Outside UA Nezu, how were the reporters able to do something like this? Someone instigated this. An evil person entered, or was it an attempt to declare war? Analyzing the situation, looking at the UA door disintegrated. 12.05 AM at UA Aizawa, today, for the basic hero training, 
It will be a class with three instructors, All Might and me, and one more person, drawing everyone's attention. Izuku, thoughts, is it a special case? Surprised. Saro, excuse me. What will we do? Asking curiously. Izawa, disasters, catastrophes, and all that. It's rescue training, showing a card that says rescue. Kaminari, rescue. Looks like there will be a lot of work, a little worried. Kirishima, idiot, it's a hero's duty. My arms are ready, excited as he activates his quirk. Suyu, no one can beat me in the water, ribbit, excited. Aizawa, hey, I'm not done yet. You can decide if you want to wear your costume or not this time. Because your costumes probably limit your abilities. The training will be off campus, so we'll go by bus. That's all, get ready, leaving the place. Izuku, thoughts, rescue training, what I've admired. This training will bring us one step closer to being great heroes. I'll do my best, forming a fist, quite motivated. Outside UA Ida, Class 1A, gather, with a whistle catching everyone's attention. Izuku, Ida kun is very pumped up, laughing a bit at his friend's attitude. Izawa, listen up, everyone. There's a change of plans, we'll be accompanied by three third year students, they're considered the strongest in this school, the big three, introducing the students quite quickly. The big three proceeded to introduce themselves, causing a bit of awe because Izuku knew them, making everyone focus on them, quite surprised, which Izuku couldn't help but notice, making him a little nervous. Nay higher, hey, hey, Izuku. Can we sit together? Quite close to Izuku. Izuku, oh okay, Jay just don't get too close, whispering that last part, quite flushed and embarrassed. Nay higher, hey, Izuku, aren't you excited? It's your first step as a hero, isn't it curious? You always dreamed of this, sitting next to Izuku and resting her head on his shoulder. Izuku, W wait, and Nehire, not here, looking around embarrassed because Nehire was leaning on his shoulder. Nehire, come on, do your best, cheerful. Izuku, D don't ignore me, feeling ignored. Nehire and Izuku, after that moment of embarrassment, spent the whole trip talking about quirks, heroes, and UA classes. When the trip ended, the first two to leave were Tamaki and Mirio, overwhelmed by the questions and answers they heard during the trip. Mirio, I'll never sit close to you again, rubbing his head with a slight headache. Tamaki, the conversation between those two seems endless, quite tired. USJ 13, I've been waiting for your arrival, standing, waiting for the students. Izuku, it's the space hero, 13. The gallant hero who has rescued tons of people from disasters, excited. Uraka, oh, awesome. I love 13, quite excited, raising her fist in excitement. 13, follow me, let's go inside at once, entering USJ once inside, 13 proceeded to explain what USJ meant and how some quirks cause disasters if not used properly. The conversation was going on very normally, with several students very excited to hear from 13, but there was an incident that made the teachers react. Izawa, gather and don't move. 13 and the big three, protect the students, giving orders quickly. Hiroshima, what's going on? Is it like the entrance exam, where the lesson had already begun? Stepping forward to see what was happening. Izawa, don't move. They're all villains, putting on his yellow goggles with seriousness. Mirio, I'll go with you, eraser. Tamaki, Nehire, stay here and don't let anyone get close, standing next to Izawa ready for the fight. Izawa, don't move. Everyone's villains. Putting on his yellow lenses with seriousness. Mirio, I'll go with you, eraser. Tamaki, Nehire, stay here and don't let anyone get close. Standing next to Izawa ready for combat. Current chapter. Kurogiri, 13 and eraser head, huh? The info we got the other day says All Might is supposed to be here. Transporting villains with his portals and analyzing the students. With the heroes. Izawa, the transfer the other day was these jerks doing after all, huh? Looking very upset and preparing for combat. With the villains. Shigaraki, where is he? And here we came with this crowd. All Might. The symbol of peace. I can't believe he's not here. Scratching his neck dramatically. I wonder if he'll come if we kill some of these kids? Glancing at the students quite upset. With the heroes. Kirishima, villains? No way. There's no way they could get into the Hero Academy. A bit nervous and worried. Momo, Sensei, what about the anti transpis sensors? Showing concern. 13. We have them, of course, but. 
looking puzzled at the installations. Todoroki, did they only show up here? Or around the whole school? Either way, the sensors aren't responding. Which means someone has a quirk that allows them to do that. A secluded area separate from the main campus, during class time. They may be idiots but not fools, this surprise attack was carefully planned by someone with some kind of objective in mind. Explaining calmly while analyzing the villains. Aizawa, 13, start the evacuation. Try to call the school, those villains even did something against the sensors. It's possible someone has radio wave interference powers. Kaminari, try to contact the school with your quirk. Preparing to jump. Kaminari, got it. Attempting to use his communicator. Izuku, what about you guys? Will you fight them all? Besides, Eraser Head erases villains' quirks to then capture them, a head on battle is. Showing concern for his teacher. Mirio, trust us, Izuku. Phasing through the floor. Aizawa, you can't be a hero with just one trick. Taking a big leap to land where the villains were. Nehire, Izuku, don't do anything crazy. Showing concern for her friend. Izuku, I'll try. Watching Mirio and Aizawa fight. In the fight. Mirio, power. Hitting many villains with great force. Villain 1, shooting squad, move out. Preparing his quirk. Villain, didn't the info say only 13 and all might would be here? Who's that? Annoyed. Villain 1, I don't know. But if he thinks he can come and attack us, he's wrong. Trying to attack Aizawa. Aizawa alongside Mirio were having a fierce fight against all the villains, there were too many for a simple attack, Aizawa was erasing the quirks of the villains while Mirio was hitting the villains hard to knock them out. Villain 1, huh? The bullets aren't coming out? Trying to activate his quirk. Aizawa, on his part, was also fighting, he had his fighting style which consisted of grabbing and trapping his villains to then hit or slam them on the ground. Villain 2, idiots, he's eraser head. He can erase quirks just by looking at them. Getting ready to attack. Villain 3, Erase? Will you erase the quirk of heteromorphic type villains like us? Quite confident and arrogant. Aizawa, no, I can't. But abilities like yours. Are statistically manifested in close combat, so I took measures against that. Hitting a villain and dodging an attack from another villain. Shigaraki, he's strong in close combat too. I saw how he's hiding his eyes with those glasses, you can't see what quirk he's erasing. When he fights against a group, he makes it hard for them to work together. Plus, that kid who can phase through the ground, dodging all attacks, I see. I hate pro heroes. The masses don't stand a chance against them. Watching as all the villains are beaten. Izuku, Aizawa sensei is in a big battle and Mirio is not falling behind, he has the situation well under control, you can tell he's one of the strongest. Analyzing the fight quite impressed. Nehire, Izuku, it's not time to analyze we have to evacuate them. Dragging Izuku to get him out of there. Everyone was running to the exit to evacuate quickly and not cause trouble for the pros. But suddenly a dark fog appeared in front of them, blocking the way to the exit. Kurogiri, I won't let you go. Appearing in front of the future heroes. Aizawa, damn it. I only looked away for a moment and the guy who seems the most problematic escaped. Trying to go to where the students are. Mirio, calm down, eraser. Nehire and Tamaki will take care of it. Speaking while not stopping hitting villains. Kurogiri, pleasure to meet you. We are the League of Villains, it may be presumptuous of us but we invited ourselves to the hero's house, UA High School, to make All Might, the symbol of peace, have his last breath. Intimidating all the students. I believe All Might should be here. Was there some kind of change? Well, whether he's here or not. This is the part I'll play. Doing weird things with his quirk. Kurogiri was about to activate his quirk around all the students, 13, Tamaki, and Nehire were preparing to counterattack Kurogiri's quirk. However, none of the three attacked, causing surprise and concern for the students who did, which were Bakugo and Kirishima. Kirishima, didn't you consider you should defeat us before doing that? Quickly attacking the shadow. Kurogiri, oh my, that was dangerous. You're right. Even though they're students, they're excellent golden eggs. Quite impressed. 13. No. Move, both of you. Trying to activate her quirk quite nervously. Kurogiri, my job is to scatter and torture you until you die. Activating a fog that surrounded several students. Nehire, I won't let you. Preparing her waves. Tamaki, wait, Nehire. You can hurt others, remember everyone is inside that purple thing. 
activating an octopus from his fingers. I'll take care of those I can. Taking out some students from the fog. Ida, guys. Outside the fog as he managed to escape with his quirk. Almost all the students were taken to different areas thanks to Kurogiri's quirk, many were worried about their classmates but even though the others had been teleported, Kurogiri, on his part, was still in front of them. With Izuku. Izuku, on the other hand, was falling into the water where there were several villains specialized in water. Izuku, a little scared, tried to activate full cowl to swim and escape the aquatic villains, but even though he tried to activate full cowl, he didn't have time to do it, still, he managed to escape because someone else had saved him. Suyu, Midoriya-chan. Garo. Grabbing Izuku with her tongue and taking the chance to attack the villain. Aquatic villain 1, Suyu. Sinking into the depths. Suyu, Suyu. Swimming upwards. Mineta, for a frog, you is quite ample. Rubbing his face against Suyu's. Suyu, Garo. Throwing Mineta brutally onto the boat. Izuku, thanks, Asui-san quite serious and worried about what might happen at USJ. Suyu, call me Tsuyu-chan. Getting on the boat. Izuku, TTT Tsuyu-chan, gracias. Quite nervous because he wasn't used to that. Suyu, this turned into a bad situation. Watching the villains hidden. Izuku, yeah, I'm worried about what the villains said. Remembering what Kurogiri said. Flashback. Kurogiri, All Might should be here. Was there some kind of change? A bit confused. End of flashback. Izuku, they knew UA schedule. So, if you think about it, those guys must have prepared the media intrusion the other day to gather information. They were waiting for this, as Todoroki-kun said. A bit excited and nervous. Mineta, but, but. They can't kill All Might. Once All Might comes, he'll defeat them. Punching the air. Suyu, Mineta-chan. Looking a little worried at Mineta. Mineta, Huh? A little confused. Suyu, don't you think they're trying so hard because they have a way to kill him? Leaving Mineta almost in shock. You know, that strong guy said they would torture us to death. I wonder if we'll be able to hold on until All Might arrives. Even if All Might comes, I wonder if we'll be able to make it out in one piece. Showing a bit of concern and scaring Mineta. Mineta, Midoriya. What the hell is that? Very scared. Aquatic Villain 1, Bastards. I'll kill you. As many villains approached. Mineta, there are so many of them. Looking scared at the villains. Izuku, these villains are weak, we can beat them, but still, if they have a way to beat All Might, it must be that giant chicken thing over there. Pointing in the distance to the giant chicken. W we don't have a choice, guys, we'll have to fight. A little nervous but still activating full cowl. With 13 and the others. 13, Ida, you're in charge, right? You have to run and get to UA to warn the teachers. Pointing to Ida. Your quirk is perfect for this situation. Showing concern as they were cornered. Nay higher, I can't use the full power of my waves, Izuku's classmates are here. Whispering while aiming her waves at Kurogiri. We'll protect you. Without letting their guard down. Tamaki, don't worry about us. Waiting for Kurogiri to attack again. Uraka, we'll support you, like you did in the cafeteria. Motivating Ida. Kurogiri, even though they have no other choice, are they such idiots to make their plans in front of the enemy? Attempting to attack 13. 13, we did it because it's useless if you know it. Black hole. Starting to absorb Kurogiri with her quirk. On the boat. Mineta, what do you mean, fight? Are you stupid? These guys can kill All Might, right? You're contradicting yourself, Midoriya. The best plan is to sit and wait for UA heroes to come and save us. Complaining to Midoriya. Izuku, Mineta, those guys below clearly assume we'll fight in the water, right? Still with full cowl activated. It's a bit risky but I have a plan. Deactivating full cowl for a moment. Suyu, risky? A little curious but still nervous. Izuku, since they know my quirk is super strength. I'll jump off the boat to create an attack, and when I give you the signal, you guys will jump and pick me up. Activating full cowl again. Suyu, are you sure? A little worried about Izuku. Izuku, everything's fine, guys. Turning his head a little to show a slightly nervous smile. Suyu, Mineta-chan. Very surprised to see Izuku smiling, then grabbing Mineta and getting ready to catch Izuku. Izuku, thoughts, full cowl, 30%.
increasing the percentage of full cowl and feeling a great pressure on his body. Mineta, why? Even though he's trembling. Even though he's just like me. Even though he's scared, why? Why? Showing shock at Izuku's bravery. Izuku, thoughts, I don't feel any pain. It must be from not making consecutive movements, still, I can move my arm. Showing a big smile and staring at the water. This will be enough. To create a mini Detroit smash. Punching the water, causing a whirlpool to form. Izuku, by hitting the water, created a large whirlpool causing all the villains to be dragged into it. The villains, with concern, tried to leave the place but it was useless due to the pressure of Izuku's punch. Izuku, Suyu chan Mineta-kun. A little sore. Suyu, Garo. Grabbing Izuku with her tongue. Mineta, thoughts, damn it. What the hell's gotten into you, Midoriya? Why are you acting so cool? Very nervous but grabbing the balls he had in his hair. Even I. Starting to throw the balls he is on his head. Izuku, if a powerful force is applied to the water's surface, it divides, then converges and returns to the center. Showing a bit of discomfort in his arm. Villains, move. Get out of the way. You too. You're in my path. As they jostle for position due to Mineta's quirk. Suyu, gathering them all at once. I guess we won the first round. You guys are amazing. Impressed by both of them. A few minutes later. Mineta, I took a dump this morning, so these things will stick all day walking a bit more calmly through the water. Izuku, we were lucky they were all. It was a big gamble, I've never tested my moves in water before, I had to expect the worst, didn't I? That was scary. Starting to mutter. Suyu, Midoriya chan, stop. Instead of reflecting, shouldn't you think about what we'll do now? Moving closer to the shore while calming Izuku down. Izuku, you're right. Feeling a slight cramp in his arm. Suyu, are you okay? Showing a little concern seeing Izuku in pain. Izuku, why yeah. It's nothing, I'll be fine in a few minutes. Anyway, how are Mirio and Izawa sensei Holding his arm to make the pain go away a little faster. Suyu, right, Izawa sensei and Mirio senpai are facing a lot of villains in the central square. Looking a little worried. Izuku, there are too many villains. And there's one that worries me a lot. Let's go see how things are. Moving a little closer to the shore. Mineta, hey, Midoriya, we're just going to check that things are okay, right? Quite scared and nervous. Izuku, I know. I'll take care of the escape if we're in danger. Moving carefully to avoid being caught by the villain. Shigaraki, 23 seconds as he ran towards Aizawa. Aizawa, the final boss? Trying to counter Shigaraki. Shigaraki, 24 seconds, as he placed his hand on Aizawa's elbow. Shigaraki, it's hard to see you because you keep moving around, but there's a moment when your hair falls, that's when you finish an action and the window of opportunity gets shorter and shorter causing Aizawa some alarm. Don't strain yourself too much, erase her head. Disintegrating Aizawa's elbow with a smile on his face. Aizawa, my elbow is crumbling. Counterattacking Shigaraki but in a lot of pain. Mirio, eraser. Are you okay? Turning around to check on Aizawa. Aizawa, why yeah, I'm fine. You're doing great. I'll take care of these. In pain and attacking more villains. Shigaraki, that quirk isn't made for long fights against large groups, right? Isn't it very different from your usual work? You're good at short fights and surprise attacks, aren't you? Yet, you jumped into a fight in front of us. Was it to keep your students safe? Mocking Aizawa. Aizawa was quite sore, dodging and counterattacking his enemies, they kept coming as if they'd never end. There came a point where Aizawa began to tire because of the mistake he made with Shigaraki. Shigaraki, you're cool. You're cool. By the way, hero. I'm not the final boss. Changing his tone from sadistic to serious. The gigantic creature quickly approached Aizawa, so fast that Aizawa couldn't react to the blows that this creature began to deliver. The students nearby watched in horror and frustration as their teacher was being battered. Aizawa, d damn it. H his strength compares to all mights. Barely conscious and with his face in pieces. Mirio, eraser. Are you okay? Worried and trying to get to Aizawa. Shigaraki, this is my nomu. It has the same strength as the symbol of peace, all might. Pointing at Mirio with disdain. Izuku, I can't take it anymore. Emerging from the water with full cowl at 10%. Suyu, Midoriya-chan. 
trying to stop Izuku. Mirio, Izuku? Turning quickly to look at Izuku, worried. Izawa, Midoriya. You must. Being interrupted by a shout from a very angry Izuku. Izuku, I don't care what happens. This time. Yelling angrily at the top of his lungs causing everyone who heard him to be impressed. I'll give it my all. Activating full cowl with a lot of rage on top. Izuku, I don't care what happens. This time. Yelling angrily at the top of his lungs, leaving everyone who heard him impressed. I'll give it my all. Activating full cowl with a lot of rage. Current chapter. Izawa, M. Midoriya. Get away. Still under the Nomu's grasp. Mirio, Izuku. I'll take care of it, don't worry. Running towards where Izuku was. Izuku, thoughts, the 30% can create long-range attacks with air pressure. Causing a gust of wind by increasing the full cowl's percentage. Mirio, Izuku. Trying to stop Izuku. Izuku, Mirio, I'll hit that creature as hard as I can. When I do, make sure to get Izawa sensei out of here. Showing some pain from using 30% and getting ready to jump. Shigaraki, you? Hit my Nomu? How pathetic. Mocking Izuku. Izuku, thoughts, darn it, as I suspected, it's very hard to maintain, still. Jumping towards the Nomu. Mirio, when did? Seeing Izuku approach the Nomu like lightning. Izuku, I'll save them. I don't care what happens to me. Hitting the Nomu with considerable force, sending it flying a few meters. Mirio, I impressive. Amazed by Izuku's strength. Izuku, Mirio. It's now or never, get him out of here. Grabbing his arm with considerable pain. Mirio, okay. Don't overdo it, I'll come right back to help you. Carrying Izawa and starting to run to safety. Izuku, thoughts, darn it. How much power did I use? 50%? Did I use more? Is only my arm affected? Did I lose control of full cowl at the last moment? Holding his arm in unbearable pain, very confused by what just happened. The Nomu quickly rose and appeared in front of Izuku in seconds, catching him off guard as he was distracted by his loss of control. With little time to react, he used his sore arm to block the attack, resulting in his arm being completely broken. Izuku, I had hurts. Seeing his left arm covered in blood. Shigaraki, don't play the hero, kid. Although that hit was impressive, it's not strong enough to defeat him. Give up. Slightly calmer seeing Izuku defeated. Izuku, D do you think I'll be defeated by that attack? I still have my other arm, villain. Crying from pain but still showing a determined smile. Shigaraki, darn it. Darn it. Starting to scratch his neck in rage. You're just like him. Starting to laugh as he looks at Izuku. Izuku, Texas. Prepping a punch with his right fist. Smash. Appearing instantly in front of the Nomu, delivering a blow to its face. A loud bang echoed through the area as a strong gust knocked down some villains who were in the way. Many, upon hearing the sound, got scared and tried to see what had happened, but the dust hadn't cleared yet. With 13 and the others. Kurogiri, black hole, absorbing everything and turning it into dust. I see, that's an amazing quirk. Slowly being absorbed by black hole. However, 13, you're a hero who rescues people from disasters. As expected, your combat experience is less than half of a normal hero's. Opening a portal behind 13. 13. A portal. Being sucked in by their own quirk. Kurogiri, you'll turn yourself into dust. As 13's suit slowly tears apart due to a portal created behind the hero. 13. T they got me. Falling almost unconscious with the back of their suit completely torn. Mina, Sensei. Very worried seeing 13 badly injured. Sato, run, Ida. Hurry. Preparing to counter whatever comes next. Tamaki, we'll hold them back, you have to use your quirk to save others. Being serious and trying to grab Kurogiri. Ida, darn it. Starting to run towards the door. Kurogiri, one of the kids wasn't scattered. We're just waiting for All Might. If you call the other teachers, it'll be harder for us. Creating a portal in front of Ida. Ida, thoughts, everyone. Was counting. On me. The whole class. I. Trying to stop. Shoji, go. Fast. Grabbing the portal with all his arms. Ida, guys, wait for me. Starting to run again. Kurogiri, impudent. I won't let you escape. Trying to grab Ida. Ida, thoughts, 
an automatic door. Should I break it down? Is it thick enough for me to break through? Thinking about what to do while still running. Kurogiri, you're insolent, four eyes. Disappear. Trying to make Ida vanish from the spot. With Izuku. Shigaraki, no matter how strong your punches are. You won't be able to defeat him. Looking at Izuku, who was surprised. Izuku, thoughts, is. Is 30% not enough? Jumping back to start evading. Even more. I have to give absolutely everything. Throwing many punches with his right arm at 30%. In the water. Tsuyu, M. Midoriya Chan is in a lot of trouble. In shock seeing Izuku giving his all. Mineta, W. We can't do anything. Very frustrated and unable to move. Tsuyu, W. We have to make sure not to cause him trouble and if he's in trouble, help him. Very frustrated and worried seeing Izuku about to be hit. With 13 and the others. Uraka, I don't know the theory behind this, but if you're using something like this, then it means it has a physical body. Go, Ida. Touching Kurogiri's physical part. Kurogiri, and no, my body. Oh no. However, being slightly lifted by Uraka's quirk. Saro, I won't let you. Holding on to Kurogiri's physical body. Tamaki, take this. Grabbing Kurogiri with his tentacles and throwing him away. Ida, engine boost. Using all his speed to escape from the place. Kurogiri, he's going to call for help. It's over. Frustrated seeing Ida escape. Tamaki, how are Eraser and Mirio doing with the villains? Turning around to see the fight, a little worried. Uraka, it can't be. D. Deku Kun is. Being interrupted by Nehire, who was worried seeing the scene. Nehire, where's Mirio? He left Izuku alone. We have to help him. Very worried about Izuku. Tamaki, we have to help him. That thing doesn't seem normal. Starting to descend the stairs. Mina, wait. Here comes Mirio Senpai. Seeing Mirio coming with Aizawa carried. Aizawa, W. Why did you leave him? Worried and with many injuries. Mirio, Izuku was ready to go into battle. It would have been useless if we kept overthinking things with how fast that thing is. Speeding up thinking about Izuku's situation. I have to get him to a safe area quickly. Speeding up even more. Tamaki, Mirio. We have to help Midoriya. Surprising Mirio a bit and a little out of breath. Mirio, Eraser needs help, we can't leave him here. Being interrupted by Aizawa. Aizawa, L let me stay. Why you have to help Midoriya, he's in serious trouble. About to lose consciousness. Tamaki, another group is coming to get Eraser. We have to quickly go to where Midoriya is. Starting to run towards the battlefield without hesitation. Mirio, nay higher, let's go. Gently placing Aizawa on the ground before following Tamaki's lead. Nay higher, Izuku. Yelling loudly as she sees Izuku about to be hit by the Nomu. In Izuku and Nomu's battle. Izuku, thoughts, I'm too tired, I haven't been able to do any damage to him. Breathing heavily and holding his left arm because of the pain. Shigaraki, pathetic, for a moment I thought you were as strong as all might, but after that first punch, you significantly decreased your strength. Pointing at Izuku, quite annoyed. Nay higher, Izuku. Crying seeing him about to be hit. Izuku, the first punch. Huh? Seeing the palm of his right hand trembling a bit. Shigaraki, the next ones I'll kill. Will be those three coming this way. They're your friends, right? Looking quite angry at Mirio, Nay higher, and Tamaki. I'll disintegrate them slowly while they beg for their lives. Showing a lot of rage towards Izuku. Izuku, none of you. We'll pass from here. Activating full cowl again upon hearing Nehire's agitation. I won't let them. While half of his suit tears apart as he concentrates all his power in his arm. Nehire, and no way. Worried seeing Izuku with one of his arms broken. Mirio, he can't move anymore. Adrenaline is motivating him to keep going. Watching from afar and trying to speed up. Izuku, Detroit. Using full cowl at 30% but concentrating 100% on his arm. Crash. Hitting the Nomu brutally, sending it flying into a wall. Shigaraki, his punches are getting stronger using his arm to shield himself from the dust. Izuku, thoughts, I it's broken. I it was expected, I'm using full cowl speed but before impact, I put 100% into my arm to create that attack seeing his right arm bruised and trembling. Mirio, it's very strong covering himself from the air pressure. I'll get closer with my quirk. 
bursting through the ground to move faster. Izuku, here it comes with a lot of adrenaline, preparing another punch. Shigaraki, kill him, Nomu. Giving instructions quite agitated. Izuku, Texas. Smash. Hitting the Nomu's face. Shigaraki, it's useless, you won't kill him. Everyone will die when I'm done with you. Being interrupted by Izuku's shout. Izuku, that's why I'm here. To prevent your objective at all costs. Dealing a direct blow to the Nomu, brutally injuring the villain and sending him crashing into the wall, which was completely destroyed. After that brutal blow, Izuku, who was almost falling to the ground, used all of himself to stay standing with a smile that conveyed his pain. Even though he knew he hadn't defeated the Nomu, he felt he was giving his all to save his friends, and thanks to that, he remembered Nehire, who gave a new meaning to his nickname. Nehire, H. He's being interrupted as she sees Izuku whispering something. Izuku, um. Stopping mid-sentence due to the pain he feels. I'm the Deku who always does his best. Ignoring the pain to shout at the top of his lungs with a barely formed smile. Shigaraki, TCH, what nonsense you spout quite annoyed to hear that from Izuku. Nay higher, I Izuku watching from above and hearing Izuku's shouted phrase. Izuku, thoughts, darn it. H he's coming again. Barely standing and trying to prepare another blow. I'll defeat him. About to strike the Nomu with a blow. Mirio, pa ah. Hitting the Nomu and stopping Izuku. Izuku, M. Mirio? Sitting down as he sees his friend. Mirio, you've done great, Izuku looking at his friend who was shattered. Nay higher, I can't just stand by. Charging her waves from the air. Tamaki, finally got close beside Mirio with various animal parts replacing parts of his body. Shigaraki, aren't you forgetting something? Heroes as Kurogiri appears beside him. Kurogiri, I'm sorry to say one escaped. Quite frustrated. Shigaraki, don't worry. We can still have fun with these brats showing a sinister smile, losing confidence. Mirio, the beast you brought is defeated. What else can you do? Showing anger towards the villains. Shigaraki, my Nomu? Defeated? Don't make me laugh mocking Mirio. Mirio, what are you talking about? Showing a bit of surprise at that statement. Shigaraki, Nomu. Kill them. As the Nomu rises and rapidly regenerates its wounds. Izuku, and no way trying to get up to fight. Mirio, don't get up, Izuku, your partner went to get the teachers, we'll hold off the villains until they arrive thumbs up, trying to ease Izuku. A few minutes later. Mirio, wow, that thing is strong smiling but still very exhausted. Tamaki, M. Mirio. I I let my guard down, sorry lying on the ground with some wounds from the Nomu's blows. Izuku, thoughts, see come on. I Izuku Midoriya. Why you have to get up trying to stand up? You have this power for a reason. Get up. Very sore and trying to rise. Shigaraki, it's invincible. They can't do anything to my Nomu. As Nomu tries to attack Mirio. Mirio was in a battle of endurance with the Nomu. No matter how many blows they landed, it regenerated immediately, making no progress in weakening it. Izuku, I I have to protect them. Barely standing with trembling legs. Mirio, I Izuku. Kicking the Nomu, causing it to back off a bit. You need to rest, I told you we'll handle this trying to calm Izuku, who is standing. Nay higher, I Izuku slightly wounded and recalling a determined Izuku who always wanted to be a hero. Izuku, I I watched the fight. Nomu, despite being invincible, has a moment to absorb the impact and regenerate if necessary. Thinking of a plan. We need to immobilize it for one final blow wearing a look of anger and seriousness. Mirio, Oh one final blow. Trying to think of something that doesn't involve Izuku. Damn it. Count me in. Somewhat convinced by the plan. Izuku, full cowling. 100%. Feeling his bones breaking little by little. I it hurts trying to form a fist with his right hand. Mirio, pa ah. Dealing a blow that immobilized the Nomu a bit. D darn it shielding himself from a blow from the Nomu. Nay higher, I I'll help too. Preparing an attack. 100% waves. Launching a powerful attack that immobilized the Nomu. Izuku, go beyond. Barely speaking while feeling unbearable pain. Mirio, d darn it. I it won't reach. Seeing the Nomu quickly recover and prepare to counterattack. Tamaki, I won't let go barely conscious and grabbing all of the Nomu's limbs with tentacles emerging from his fingers. Izuku, 
Plus, taking a leap that immediately propelled him in front of the Nomu. Nay higher, now, Izuku. You can do it. Encouraging the heavily injured Izuku who could barely react. Tamaki slash Mirio, defeat him. Seeing Izuku about to strike the Nomu. Izuku, Ultra. Dealing a blow from below to the Nomu's stomach, sending it flying upwards. The blow Izuku delivered could be heard throughout USJ, causing shock and concern among all the students. The Nomu had been defeated, partially. The villain had been thrown so far that Kurogiri couldn't bring him back, they had lost him completely. Izuku, D did you. Hear me, villain? Pointing his index finger at Shigaraki with his arm completely bruised and with numerous open wounds. Or perhaps. Why you've never heard those words before? Showing a small smile before collapsing to the ground. Shigaraki, it can't be. That brat defeated my Nomu. Showing intense hatred towards Izuku. The one who had the strength to defeat All Might. I'll kill him. Starting to scratch his neck. Nay higher, Izuku. Landing to see Izuku's condition. H he's alive, but he has too many wounds starting to cry while trying to stop the bleeding from Izuku's arms. Kurogiri, it's better if we leave, Shigaraki, without the Nomu, we'll have to expect the worst opening an escape portal. Shigaraki, not yet. I have to kill those brats. Running towards the unconscious Izuku and the others. Kurogiri, Shigaraki Tomura. Trying to stop Shigaraki. Shigaraki began to run desperately towards Mirio, Tamaki, Nehire, and Izuku with a bloodthirsty look that worried Mirio a bit. When Mirio was about to stop Shigaraki, the gigantic USJ door was heard being smashed, grabbing everyone's attention. All Might, I'm here. Showing a furious expression. They'll pay for what they've done, villains. Intimidating all the villains present with just his presence. Shigaraki, I think it's game over seeing All Might's arrival. How annoying glancing at the unconscious Izuku. Kurogiri, let's go, Shigaraki retreating from the scene. Shigaraki, we won't be seeing you soon. Hiro's entering the portal with a smirk as he sees All Might frustrated. All Might, they won't escape. Quickly arriving at the scene. Smash. Hitting the portal, creating immense pressure. Mirio, and no way, I let him escape due to the shock sitting on the ground out of frustration. All Might, darn it. Frustratedly shouting as he sees them possibly escaping. Several minutes later. After the two villains had escaped, the others were almost all unconscious. Several minutes passed before the professional heroes, along with Ida, arrived at USJ with ambulances rapidly approaching the area. Meanwhile, Izuku, who was still unconscious, was completely shattered. His two arms were broken with several open wounds, and though his body didn't show any visible injuries, his bones were almost shattered from using full cowl at 100% for a few seconds. All Might, young Midoriya. Looking at his pupil with great concern. Nay higher, H he's very serious, All Might, he needs urgent help desperately crying with her hands covered in Izuku's blood. Nurse, we have another injured one here. He has many serious wounds. Drawing attention from the other helpers. The entire Class A was speaking with a detective who was asking them questions, but all their gazes shifted when they saw Izuku on a stretcher being rushed to the emergency room. Doctor, we need to calm the seizures. He's not just injured in his arms. Placing a respirator in Izuku's mouth. It's likely his whole body is injured, call the hospital and have everyone prepare for urgent surgery lifting the stretcher into the back of the ambulance before continuing to inspect Izuku's body. Mina, T this can't be unable to believe Izuku's condition. Mineta, H. He gave absolutely everything very frustrated to see Izuku being taken for surgery. Kirishima, that sound of impact. Recalling how there was a slight tremor. Nay higher, guys. I, I know he's not going to die approaching Class A with tears and a heavy burden of guilt. B. But still. I, I couldn't stop him. I'm sorry wiping her tears as Mirio tried to support her.